you need a lot of luck to win this soccer tournament, you know? A poker player is a gambler. Like you must gamble anywhere when you play, but with many, many levels. Every day you learn something in poker. The guy will say, I stop running, he must stop to play. Here in the most romantic city in the world, France's top player has words of wisdom that apply equally to poker and to love. You, you must gamble. Action is on Alan Cunningham. He folds. Alan folds, pass to Alan. And look at this, Chris Johansson's picked up a big hand. He has king, queen of clubs. What's he gonna do with it, Mike? Chris he just called. The big blind. That pretty much surprises me there. Most guys would raise in the blind with well, that. Well, he's trying hand. to trap, obviously, he's trying to trap Claude into a raise so that he can re-raise him back. Is Claude gonna bite? Check, check, Claude. No, well, he's not. Okay, we're gonna have a flop. And it comes king, queen, seven. Oh, man. A king, big queen, flop right seven, there for Chris. Quartz. Huge for Chris. Claude he's got two pair, but Claude Lula. has a pair of queens. It's a legitimate Chris hand. 30, and he's going to call it. Now he's bet three plaques. Claude That's 30,000. Claude calls. Chris. Claude Suis. Here comes the turn card, Claude. fourth turn street. Card, like now the nine of clubs, clubs comes off. It's a mild scare card nine, for Chris because it could give Claude, Claude a straight if he had a jack and a ten. But you have to bet with kings and queens here and a flush possibility out there. Chris bets 80, and he does 000. so. He bets Need eighty thousand. And now Claude's got to review this hand. He knows it wasn't raised before the flop. Chris let out and bet on the flop, and he's let out and bet again on Fourth Street after Claude called him. And don't forget, Chris was playing it slow before the flop. He had a king queen of club, a very strong hand. He was trying to sandbag a little bit. He's caught the two pair in this game. Anything can happen. It's all about mixing up your opponent. Well, so Claude's got a little figuring to do here. Well, he's reviewing the betting process right now. He's thinking about what's happened. He thought his opponent might maybe have a heart draw. When he comes out and bets again on 4th Street, the chances are he has a hand instead of a draw. That's what Claude has to figure out. Is he on a hand or is he on a draw? A lot of money at stake, and Claude is going to throw his hand away. Chris is going to take this one down. Very good lay down by Claude Cohen right there. He made the right decision. Strong play by Chris. He is back. Well, he is in a commanding chip position right now with over half a million in chips. Claude has about 180,000, and the American Chris. Alan Cunningham Chris. has about 150,000. Well, Chris Johansson's picked up an eight and a three of hearts. He's going to throw it away. Claude goes all in with the king three off suit. He's moved all in, the Frenchman. Look at this all in. And Alan Cunningham has picked up ace, ten of clubs. In the blind. Oh, he's got a big hand, and he's going to call it, Mike. Alan calls. He goes for it. Sweetie he says, I'm all in also. So here we go. Claude, Claude turns up a king, king three. Oh. Alan shows Claude Alan just shows stood the up and sick about Claude. this. And Claude. Alan is loving this position. Look Alan at Alan. Very excited. Ben, there's an eerie silence in the place now because they know Claude is a big underdog to win this pot against the American. And believe me, they have very prideful people here in France. They want a Frenchman to win this tournament, keep the flag, keep the trophy right here in Paris. And right now, for that to happen, Claude is going to have to get lucky in this spot. When we started with three Frenchmen, Vince, we're down to our lone Frenchman left. Claude, now they're counting the chips now to see if Alan has more chips. Actually, Claude has about 20,000 left, so he'll be on the respirator. He won't be out if he loses this pot. But essentially, this pot represents whether the French will carry on and have a shot to win Claude this tournament. Miracles more. could happen, Claude of course, but look at Alan is smiling because he can't believe this, that he's, he's like a 75% favorite to win this hand. Right now he's feeling pretty good, but he still understands that all you can do is get your money in with the best hand. He's done that, but Lady Luck has still got to be sitting on your shoulder. He's still got to dodge the kings and threes. Even when you get your money in with the best hand like he's done, you're still in jeopardy. You've got to dodge these cards that can beat you. Well, this is why we keep having bad beat stories. Here we go. Okay, here's the flop. The flop. Well, flop is 7 6 5. Seven, now that six, gives Claude a straight draw to go along with his king and a three. So he needs a three, a four, or a king. He gets a three. Oh, no. Whoa. Whoa. Card. Look at Alan. Alan. He needs an ace or a ten, or he's going to be out of this tournament. And another three. Another Boom. three comes off. The crowd erupts. Look at Alan. He's stunned here right now, Vince. You know what? He doesn't want to leave the table. He's just standing there. Well, right now he's taking slugs of water, but I think that's going to switch to strong wine here in a minute. Look at this. He just wants, he wants a repeat yeah. here. <laughs> hey, look, he's froze. 
He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't want to leave. No, I don't blame him. That is just an awful beat. That is heartbreak for Allen. He's and played what such a magnificent tournament, and it's over. One second, it's over like that. You get outdrawn, you're on the rail. Our American well, friend has to say goodbye. Look at this. He can't believe this. Yep. Yeah. A tough break for the American. And look at the French crowd outside, just chirping away, all happy. Well, stay tuned. We're down to our final two players, the Swede and the Frenchman. Let's see who's going to win the title of European Poker Champion and capture the World Poker Tour event at the Aviation Club de France. Stay tuned. We'll be right back on the World Poker Tour. Tour. In Paris, the Euro Finals of Poker is down to its last two players. Yes, they're bringing out the cash like they do every week on the World Poker Tour. This is always our favorite part. Hey, it looks like the roast beef sandwiches are coming in. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. What are they serving here? You know how they like to eat here in Paris. Yes, sirree. Look at that. Look at this. A silver platter. They're coming in. These two guys can't believe it. Their heads they're, up here. They're wheeling it out. Whoa. Whoa. These are euros bundled up, big time euros, nearly a million dollars worth of euros. It looks like someone knocked over a crepe shop. All that money. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you'd have to knock over all the crepe franchises in France to get that kind of money. Look at the beautiful Don Perignon. Very nice. Don Perignon. Oh. Lovely presentation of money here. We're playing heads up for all the marbles here, Vince. Well, as we get ready to get going on Heads Up Poker for the title of European Poker Champion. So here we go. Well, Claude Cohen has a, an ace nine this time. It's going to be up to Claude first, and look at this. He's just calling it, Mike. He just calls with ace high playing Heads Up. Very interesting play. Chris has a king nine. He has an option of raising or not. What's he going to do? Well, he's going to raise. He's obviously Chris got to think raises. that the king is the best hand. I don't blame him at all for raising right here. And there we go. He's he going with a dramatic more. move again. He's going all in. He's going, going all in again. He trapped him. I mean, he set the bait right out there. Yes, he did. Chris went for it, and with an ace nine, he's moving all in. Whoa. This man doesn't let you relax. He's giving goo goo eyes to the audience. <laughs> well, I He's just explained when he plays heads up, his, he loves to come over the top of you. He's not afraid to play with you. He does. He trapped the Swede here. And let's see if the Swede can get out of this alive or if he wants to. When I played him, he did it a lot against me. It got me dizzy. I had a big chip lead. He ended up taking the lead, and then I had to come back to beat him. It was an amazing match. So I know just exactly how Chris is feeling right now. Now, the thing is, for you players out there that are watching, going, wait a second, well, why did Chris have to raise? He doesn't have that great of a hand. You oh, constantly oh. heads up trying to steal pots, take pots that aren't yours. You don't want to have That's flops. Now, look at Chris. Right now, he's wondering what's going on. Why wouldn't the guy raise with an ace? That's what he's asking himself. He's thinking his king might be the best hand here. Now, but what also Chris is getting out of this, he's getting to see Claude, how he's acting, how he's talking. And look at the studying of Chris. He's not looking at the chips or listening to him. He's just watching the man. He's checking his pupils out. He's checking his reactions. He's checking how relaxed he is, his body language. All that goes into figuring out if he's going to call or not. Well, before this hand, Chris was our chip leader. However, if Claude wins this pot, even if he wins what's out there now, he will take the chip lead, and he has done it. Okay. The Frenchman has gone to the front. Chris is taken down. Aggressive play on the part of Claude Cohen right now. This is just a battle of wits here in Paris. And remember, Claude has been in this position before. He's came very close to winning this event just a couple years ago. He has another chance to do it, and these opportunities just don't come along very often, Vince. Can he come through and win this championship for the French? Well, he's playing awesome poker, but it's going to be up to Chris Johansson first to act. He's going to take a look at his cards. And look at this, Mike. He's got a real hand. He's got a pair of sevens. 
Uh oh, we could see some electricity in this pot, Vince. Throwing the plaques in. He comes in for 60000 And look at this. Claude Cohen has gone all in for $450,000. He is. He's going all in. And you know what he's got? He's got the whale of a hand, ace king suited of diamonds. But he's not toying with him. He's not just calling him. He's not making a small raise. He's betting the whole caboodle right now. This is it for him, Vince. Oh, man. This is a pretty hand for Claude. And now look at Chris. Put yourself in his position. You're looking at two sevens. The man's bet you four hundred and some thousand dollars. What do you do now with two sevens in this spot? Whoa. He is being put to the test right here. Look at Chris's face. Now he knows the best he can hope for probably is that Claude has two over cards, which means this will be a virtual coin flip. But that's not true because you go back and you see Claude make crazy moves with King three with nine eight. Yeah, good point. And he's made all in bets when he's done those yes, things. Yes, he has. Here he's made an all in bet. This time he does have the hand. Chris looks tortured. Well, Claude, actually, I don't think he's going to mind if he calls or if he doesn't call right here. He's made his move. Yeah, absolutely. He's got a big well, hand. I call. He's got to call it. He's hoping he doesn't have a pair. Chris is calling. This is going to be it, Mike. He does. It's Claude ace, king of diamonds versus two sevens. Diamonds. The two sevens may be an ever so slight favorite, but this is virtually a coin flip, man. Absolutely, and Chris looks happy. He, he, I think he knows he made the right decision of calling his hand. Look at him. He's very nervous. This is a coin Here flip for like $400,000, Vince. Come on. Well, Chris is in front so Jack, far. Six, three. Now, Claude is going to have to catch an ace or a king or two running diamonds or a queen and a ten to win this pot. Hey, baby. Not a yet. ten comes off. Not yet. Claude Mike. Cohen is going to have to catch an ace, king, or queen, or he is going to be with virtually no chips left, hardly. Let's see what happens. Say some prayers, Chris. Send it. And it's a ten. Oh, yeah. Chris has done it. He has captured this pot with two sevens. The lucky sevens have come through for him. And Vince, let's explain quickly to the audience that even though Claude moved all in, we're playing table stakes here. Well, absolutely, we're playing table stakes. So now that they're, they're counting it up, because Claude might have had more money than Chris at that point, so he might have a little left over. But by the way, I'll tell you something, it is absolutely silent in this casino. In fact, I think the lights on the Champs Elysees just went out when their countryman, Claude Cohen, gets defeated in that hand. And the Swede is in the driver's seat now. And for you viewers watching, I mean, maybe you flipped a coin for 50 cents or a dollar in your life, but try flipping one for 400,000. That's what just happened in that last pot. Now look at this. And here goes Claude. He's got to go along with anything he's got. He picks up the 10 deuce. And he's in bad shape here because his opponent has a king deuce. He couldn't be in much worse shape here. He's going to have to catch a 10. Otherwise, Chris Johansson from Sweden is going to be our champion. Let's see what happens. So table stakes, it's all the line. He's all in. He only had 20,000 left, right. so he had to go all in. Queen 6-7 is the flop, Mike. It's queen 6-7. Seven. Seven, Chris's king five. high is still in front at this point. He's going to have to catch a running 8-9 or a 10 to win this pot. Claude needs a miracle. And it's a jack right now. Claude Cohen is going to have to catch a 10 or Chris Johansson from Sweden will be our champion. Last card coming up. Here we go. There it is. It's an ace. It's over. It is over for the Frenchman. Well, the drama was taken out on the previous hand when literally they played a $820,000 pot. This hand was just a formality. Lots of wine being spilled in the other room. The Frenchman going down, losing to the amazing play of Chris Johansson, our winner from Sweden, here at the Aviation Club in Paris, France. Well, that's it for tonight. Don't miss the action next week when six more players will step onto the World Poker Tour stage to compete for a place in poker history. And until then, I'm Vincent Van Patten, along with Mike Sexton and all the World Poker Tour crew, saying good night. See you next time.